You need a financial advisor with the freedom to focus on your specific needs. Whatever your goals, Reed Potter can create a game plan tailored to you. Call Reed at 432-0777 at Pikeville, Kentucky to learn more. September is National Suicide Prevention Month, which works to raise awareness around the issue. We spoke to Big Sandy Healthcare provider Cheryl Combs Walker on the importance of discussing suicide prevention and when to seek help. Knowledge is power, and you know, as a community, we, with without discussion of important topics and concerns, we don't have the tools and information necessary to be able to prevent those things. And so, you know, suicidality because we tend to avoid mental health related topics. And because there's still a lot of shame and stigma connected to it, uh, very often people aren't talking about it. Or they might not even seek the help or support that they need when these signs arise. Uh, and, and unfortunately, we can't go backwards if we recognize these signs and symptoms in a loved one and then something happens, we might wish that we had taken action and, and didn't. So per, talking about it as a community helps to remove that stigma. It empowers people to know what to do, what signs to look for, and can hopefully help save themselves or someone else. Signs that someone is considering suicide include sudden changes in mood, giving away significant items, talking about death, impulsive or reckless behavior, and increased alcohol and drug use. I think that, you know, recognizing that suicidal ideations are a symptom of another concern uh, in, in the mental health realm, we definitely want to take some kind of action and recognize them as a higher level symptom. Uh, and so what that means is that it's something that we definitely want to take some kind of action and reach out for support with. Uh, and that can be, again, through a friend or family member, through if we haven't already accessed some kind of mental health support through a therapist or a psychiatric provider medication of some kind, then we definitely want to initiate that on some level. If you or someone you know is experiencing a mental health crisis, call or text 988 to reach the Suicide and Crisis Lifeline. Reporting for Mountaintop News, I'm Brianna Robinson.